Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a week two bachelor recap video for you and I'm filming it the day after the episode was released so I'm super on top of it this week. Hopefully it'll be out tomorrow which will be Wednesday and it'll be a lot quicker than last week's video. Basically I feel like this whole recap is going to revolve around Cassidy because she made herself the star of this episode and I would not say in a good way because she gives me like ugh, just ick vibes. I do not like her. They went on the group date where Hilary Duff came in and helped like host the group date where they planned a birthday party for kids and Cassidy had no interest in the kids, the birthday party. I can't tell yet if she was uh, obsessed with Hilary Duff or Clayton Moore. It's probably a tie because she was like in awe over Hilary Duff when they showed her and then she spent the whole group date making out with Clayton at the pool and it was just very not classy and like Gabby said there's a time and a place and a group date isn't really the time or the place for that. You usually have an evening portion of the group date and that's where you have your one-on-one -on -one time and I don't know, I just thought it was very like immature. She literally said she doesn't like kids and she dropped the cake everywhere. Like she was just a hot mess and all she wanted was to be only with Clayton, which is not how group dates work. Then Susie had her one-on-one -on -one and they went on the helicopter ride out to the boat and it was super, super cute. I love Susie. She probably is my favorite right now. I know last recap I said I didn't have a favorite, but I think she's my favorite and I really hope that she doesn't do something to change that. <laughs> After the first group date, Cassidy and Shanae kind of meet and like game plan how Shanae is going to do her group date to be like Cassidy and to only focus on Clayton and to be just like straight up obsessive. Like they were like game planning and talking strategy which is not really the way to fall in love. Then on Shanae's group date they had the never have I ever game that Shanae apparently did not like and then she started talking about how she's now Shanae and her real personality is coming out and she started dancing and it was just like super cringy I thought. I mean I'm happy for her if that is her real personality and she feels like she can finally be herself but I didn't really like it. Then they do the obstacle course and Shanae pushes the one girl in it, which I'm surprised Clayton didn't see or they didn't make into a bigger deal for that because I feel like that would have been like drama gold in other episodes. And then Shanae pulls Clayton aside and decides to tell her about other red flags going on in the house. And I thought that was just super ironic because I think her and Cassie are both huge red flags. So I'm not really sure where she thought there were other red flags coming in because she is the red flag. And she ends up calling out Elizabeth for being two-faced, which again doesn't make any sense. I feel like at this point she's feeling threatened by Elizabeth and is trying to create a problem that isn't there so that she can win Clayton over. I don't know. And also Shanae was the one that pushed Elizabeth on the obstacle course, so for her to then bring up drama when she kind of created the drama in the first place. Then she decides to pull Elizabeth aside at the cocktail party and just kind of makes everything about her ADHD and it was super weird and uncomfortable and she became kind of like obsessed and she was like, is it because of your ADHD? Oh, it's her ADHD. Oh, it's this because of the ADHD. And it just seemed like, and it might've been part of the edit, but it seemed like super obsessive. And honestly, I think the only reason Elizabeth brought her ADHD up was just to like make an excuse and kind of get over the issue and be like, yeah, I have ADHD. So I was not paying attention to you when other people are talking. And I feel like that was kind of her way to just pass it under the rug. Like it's not a big deal. I don't pay attention to every girl in the house. And then everyone kind of caught wind of her bringing up Elizabeth's ADHD, which I don't think is a big deal. I think a lot of people have ADHD, so it's not like it could have been something worse. And then even Shanae's partner in crime, Cassidy, starts turning on her and is like, no, I cannot support you through this drama. Like you created this, you're in the wrong, which I thought was kind of funny because they're both in the wrong and now 
they're not even friends. Then the one girl brings up Cassidy's friend with benefits that she had back at home and that she has been in contact with on the season. I think that's what I was understanding from it. I was kind of confused because I didn't know if this was someone she had only been in contact before the show or if she somehow got a phone and was contacting him while she was on the show. I've heard both stories so I don't really know what the circumstances are but either way surprise surprise I'm not surprised. I feel like Cassidy is just there to mess around and to win the competition and not actually find love. I'm glad that that one girl went and told Clayton right away before the rose ceremony because Obviously, Cassidy has a rose and she's walking around flaunting it and she's still getting her time with Clayton. And then it shows the preview for next week because the episode is then over. And it shows the preview being Clayton asking the host, Jesse Palmer, if anyone's ever taken a rose away before, which I thought was super funny. And I really, really hope that he takes Cassidy's rose away. Even if he ends up like maybe giving it back during the groupers ceremony, but just to humble her, oh, I really hope so. If he ends up taking Cassidy's rose away, I think he will become my new favorite. So that is basically all I have for my recap. I feel like it was a pretty uneventful episode. I know that now as the season has picked up, there have been jokes and talk about all of Clayton's kissing noises when he makes out with girls. And I honestly didn't even notice it before I saw these like articles talking about them. But I think it's just because they're mic'd up and it's just so loud. And usually they play a clip of someone talking over the video of them making out so that you don't hear all that noise. I don't know. I don't think it's that bad because it's definitely not as bad as Matt James kissing with his eyes open. That was the worst. So we didn't get a rose ceremony this week, so there's still 22 girls, and my favorite right now is Susie. My least favorite is Cassidy and Shanae, and honestly, I hope they just both go home and just get it over with, but I don't think that's going to happen because they're both really good drama, and I know that Shanae stays because she was in the upcoming preview but maybe at least Cassidy will go home and that would make me much happier. So far, I'm liking Clayton as The Bachelor. I think he's doing a great job. Again, it's entertaining. He's good looking. He's genuine. Like he really does want to get married and have kids. I think that was really shown in the group date with the kids' birthday party and Hilary Duff. So I think he has good intentions and I'm now excited for this season.